Hello there. Today the good news is that I've finally got myself a microphone, so I should start sounding a little better than before. Okay, so in today's video we'll be learning how to work with master pages and also how to override master page items in Adobe InDesign. So let's get started. First of all, I want to change the units to pixels and then create a five page document and uh, I don't want facing pages. So I'll let it remain unchecked and then hit create. Let me close the buttons and forms panel here and let me bring the pages panel out of its shell. If you don't see the pages panel on the screen, you can always go to window and you'll find it sitting under it somewhere. The shortcut to get it on the screen is Command F12 on a Mac and I think it should be Control F12 on a PC. Master pages are used to create consistency from page to page in a document so they typically contain page headers, footers, margin and column guides and other elements that occur on multiple pages in your document. Every new document automatically contains one master page called a master and this master page is automatically applied to every page in the document. So let's create one. Here you see the five pages below the line divider. They are document pages and above it sits the a master page. So double click on it to select it and then let's grab a rectangle and draw a rectangle as the footer for this master. And let's also fill it with some color. So I think pink should be good for this one. The moment you set this on a master, you'll find it reflecting on the thumbnails of each page, which means that your a master has been successfully applied to those pages. You can even double click on each page to verify this change. So now it's time to add another master page and to do that, just click, hold and drag a master to the create a new page button, which is sitting at the bottom of the pages panel with a plus sign and your B master will be created with all the elements of a master in it. Let me drag the divider down so that you could see the B master page as it is not visible at this point. Now for B master, we'll grab the rectangle tool once again and this time create a header much like we created the footer and let's fill it with blue. So if you go to say page one, you'll find that it's just a master that has been applied to it. We know it because we could just find a footer here. So to apply B master to this page, all we need to do is click, hold and drag the B master to this page and release. And you'll find the elements of B master being copied to this page. Let's apply B master to page three as well. And I'll show you another way to apply a master page to a particular document page. So you right click on page three and select apply master to pages. And from the pop up menu, change the two pages option from a master to B master and hit OK. And you'll have applied B master to page three as well. Now you've learned how to apply masters to different pages, but what if I want to make some changes to a particular page? So how do I do that? Because let's take the example of page three. If I click on the elements here to remove them, they just don't get selected. So what should I do? To override all master page items from a particular page, have that page selected and then click on the menu icon in the upper right corner of the pages panel and choose override all master pages items. The moment you do that, all the master page items on the selected pages must have been overridden. Now you can click the elements to select and delete, move or modify them easily. To override specific master page items, select the page. So we have page five selected here. I want to override the master page to delete this footer here. But since a master page has been applied to it, my clicking on it will not have any effect. However, if I press command shift and then click on this rectangle on a Mac, 
or control shift and click on a PC, this rectangle will get selected so it can be deleted, moved or modified with no difficulty at all. Another thing you can do to remove the effects of the master page from any document page is to apply the none master page. Oh yes, there is a none master page that sits on the head of a master. There is a reason it is called none. It's because it removes any settings whatsoever from any page that has a master page applied to it. So here we are on page 5 and it has the B master applied to it as it has both header and footer. If I want to remove the effects of the master page, all I need to do is click on the none master page, hold and drag it to page 5 and release. Much like we did to apply other master pages and you shall find it removing the elements that were applied earlier using one of the master pages. One last thing I'd like to talk about before finishing our session today. I've drawn this green rectangle on page 3 and uh, as you can see at this point it does not have any master page applied to it. So if I apply say B master to it, it does not remove the rectangle that was manually put there. So just remember that if you manually put something on a particular document, just by applying a master page to it does not remove the element that has been manually thrown onto that page. Okay, that concludes our session today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've learned something from it as well. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel and also let me know in the comments if using a microphone has changed, rather improved the sound quality of the video. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.